This is an AMI This Week Shortcut. I'm Grant Hardy for Accessible Media. I'm with Andy Barrar at Get Connected, and you know, I've been playing around with a couple awesome uh, apps called LookTel. One of them is LookTel Money Reader, and the other is LookTel Recognizer. Okay, let's start with the Money Reader, because I kind of think I know what this is about. Yeah, so basically, you just wave a bill in front of the camera, and it will announce the denomination. Five Canadian dollars. Oh, well, that's great. And so it does it all with inside the app? And using the camera features? All with inside the app. And the nice thing is you don't even have to take a picture. It's like a video mode. And you might have some sort of system where, you know, okay, I'm gonna fold my $10 bills in a certain way. But if you're not organized like me, you might just wanna verify what your bill is before you hand it over. Now I guess you just need to get some more cash so you could use it with the app. Yeah, you, you have any cash on you? <laughs> no, no, I'm more of a plastic guy these days, right? <laughs> well, what about this other app? Tell me about that one. Well, LookTel Recognizer works in a similar way, except that you train the camera to recognize whatever the heck you want. So it might be cards in your wallet, it might be product packaging, maybe you go to a hotel all the time that's the same brand and they use the same kind of shampoos and conditioners, you can teach it to recognize those. And then you just wave your phone, your camera, in front of the object, and again, you don't even have to snap a picture, and you just hear the label that you gave to the object. Air Miles card, front. Air Miles card, back. You're actually building the database inside the app, which is kind of different from how other uh, object recognition, artificial intelligence apps work, but it offers some real advantages, especially for things like, you know, my own bank card or my own loyalty card that are, that are just mine, and all of a sudden I can wave the camera in front of any of them and hear what they are. Not only that, like your hotel example, say you were traveling and you visit a hotel and you really like that shampoo, you could actually use that to kind of basically create a database so that next time you know what shampoo to get. That's right, and as a bonus, you're not gonna accidentally use the conditioner instead. <laughs> <laughs> so those are two pretty cool apps that really go along with what a phone is so good at, which is just helping you really from morning until night. Now we just need to get some more battery power. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> In Vancouver, I'm Grant Hardy for Accessible Media.